All right, day 19. If you're wondering why it's light outside, it's because it's the next morning. And we were doing stuff right up until we went to bed last night. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to vlog in the morning. So, day 19. What, what didn't we do? Or, well, it, day 19 was basically a free day. We pretty much got to go wherever we really wanted to. So, you know, one got ate breakfast, blah, blah, blah. And then <clears throat> Kylie and I, Kylie Schneckloff, and I went to the Portobello Market. Well, we were going to take the tube, the uh, Bayswater train, but that station was closed because district and circle line, or green and yellow lines as I would call them, were all closed and not operational. So we're like, yay. So we had to take a wonky route to Portobello from Queensway, or Queensway, so we got there. But I actually am glad I waited until the morning to vlog because we got henna. The mark here is actually, on my hand, is the mark from my book series that I designed. And then she, whoa, focus, focus on my fingers. There. She decided to add that design in, you know, just 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 because she wanted to. And I've heard, I've gotten henna a lot of times, but it was actually Kylie's first time getting henna, so she was like, ah, she was all excited about it. And I'm like, dude, just wait until tomorrow. That's gonna be so dark. It's gonna look really good. So I can't wait to see her henna how it looks. So after that, we took the tube over to Waterloo. And we went to a sushi place, technically. I don't like sushi, but it was pretty much an Asian restaurant. Or Japanese. And I got bento, and they called them something else, but I, they're pot stickers to me. And Kylie got chow mein, or yakisoba. But after that, we went on the London Eye. And that, that was amazing. I loved being up there. I loved being able to look out and just see all of London. It was really cool. We could even see Buckingham from where we were up on top of the Ferris wheel. And Big Ben has a face! Big Ben still has an operational face! I was so surprised. I thought they had covered all of Big Ben, but if when you're on the opposite side of the river, you can look and you're like, oh! I can see his face. I can see Big Ben's face. And it's still working. So they still have him going. They still have the clock running. They just they just have the chimes and everything turned off. But yeah, after we, we actually got fast passes, so it didn't take us that long to get on the Ferris wheel at all. After that, we hit Starbucks because I needed to fill up my water bottle with ice and fresh water. And I wanted to get something cold to drink. So, we hit Starbucks. We were trying to coordinate with Hannah and those guys to meet up at Abbey Road, but well, well, I'll talk about that later. So, after Starbucks, we went back to the Waterloo station. We went into Lush. I got myself some foot stuff that's supposed to be really good for tired, achy feet. And then I got my mom some really good foot lotion, moisturizer stuff, because she has really dry cracked feet, and so I'm like, I'm gonna get her something. And when we were actually <clears throat> on our way down to the underground, there was a homeless guy. There was just a homeless guy, and he was trying to get a train ticket, and he almost had enough. And so we, and, but it wasn't the fact that he need, that we gave him money, it was the fact that he like just started engaging in conversation with us he just started talking to us like oh where are you guys from like how, how long are you here blah 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 how, I hope you and after when we parted he was like I hope you enjoy the rest of your trip and we were like oh that guy was really sweet but yeah so then we got on the Jubilee line to go up to Abbey Road and <sighs> subway singers Drunk subway singers. I don't even really have to explain it. Several, a big group of guys got on the train. They were drunk. They were singing. 
they were singing the entire time we were there. It was like, um, can you not? But, you know, they, they were at the point where they were so inebriated that if someone told them to stop, they either would do it more or they were likely to hit someone. And we didn't need that happening on the train, so we just all kind of kept our mouths shut. But the, uh, the the black guy who was sitting across from me was hilarious. We both just kept exchanging looks like, these guys, these these men, these so extremely drunk men. Like I would just I would just I would like look at him, look at the guys, and just look back with a walk like a uh like a really kind of look on my face, and he would just nod and smile. We were both just kind of laughing about laughing at them to ourselves. <clears throat> And, I, and, like, I would look at them, and I'd be like, and I'd shrug, and he'd shrug, and I'd, and I would just be, and I actually mouthed, they are, so, I mouthed, they are so drunk, and he, and he just was like, yeah, they are. <laughs> it was, it was hilarious, we were just like, we just kept exchanging looks with each other. <clears throat> so, we got to Abbey Road, it's weird, they have Wi-Fi at Abbey Road, it's hilarious, I think it's because a lot of people post pictures and whatnot. But we were waiting for Hannah and those guys, and they weren't showing up, so we went into the Abbey Road uh, store, or Abbey Studios store. The Abbey Studios itself is actually closed to the public, but the store is open, which is, like, literally on the same building. <clears throat> so we went in there, looked around. I got my dad a new guitar strap that had, like, the Abbey Road Studios logo on it. So that's what we did there. And then we went back outside and found out that Hannah and those guys went to um, the Globe. And they didn't realize how long it was going to take them. So they didn't end up coming. But Kylie and I actually did the, you know, the typical Abbey Road picture where you're walking across the street. So we had someone take our picture for us. So <clears throat> that was pretty nice. So then, you know, we took the train back. We had to take the Jubilee line down to Bond Street and get on the Central Line and go back to Queensway. And then we went down. I got Subway. And then we went to Tesco, got some stuff. I got some cheese and some milk. <coughs> <coughs> and I actually found some of the Kinder Eggs, like, that have the little toys in them. <coughs> Because my parents, my parents were wanting me to get some of those for my cousins. So I'm like, yes, I found them. <clears throat> like three days before we leave. So that was helpful. <clears throat> we went back. We came back to the or the hotel. And Kylie went up and was talking with her boyfriend for a while. But then I actually, I started showing Elizabeth, my roommate, the show Kim Possible. Because she had never seen it. And I grew up on the show, so I started. I just started. I just started playing it for her, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, this show is awesome. This show is really funny." <clears throat> and you know, Ron Stoppable is the damsel in distress, despite being the male sidekick. But probably tonight, I'm gonna have to show her a few later episodes. I'll probably have to show her some season two stuff, cause season two, Ron steps up quite a bit. <clears throat> He's not just the damsel in distress. But, yeah, that, that was that was day 19. Today, today we're going to church, so we'll see how that goes. We may, Kylie and I may or, not, may or may not go to the movies. <clears throat> it just depends on what we all plan to do. But if we go to the movies, that, that'll be fun. I've actually wanted to see a movie for... Well, they've been advertising it, so I'm like, yay, if I get to see it, woo! -hoo. But it'll just depend on what time is like and how much time we have and whatnot. So, we'll see how today goes. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>